Greetings, unsettled souls. Go! Sam Paganji, welcome as you to the correct views. And friends, I, I've got some frightening data for you today. I'm going to do my best and try to get this into one sitting because it disappointed me and it frightened me. <clears throat> okay, before I start this, Due to YouTube and censors on Facebook, I want to make sure that this gets out. So we are not talking about a certain illness, which may be sweeping through the country and causing things to shut down. We are talking about Ooga Booga. I got the name from Prison Planet a long time ago. Ooga Booga. I forget who posted it. Uh, and we're talking about the Ooga Booga Medici. We're not talking about a vaccine. Okay, so I want to mention that just so that, you know, this is a work of fiction. So I may or may not have gotten a text from someone who... I'm going to be careful how I do this because I don't want to... I'm, it, it wasn't meant to be put on air, of course, so I need to make sure that I don't accidentally out this person. Not in that way. Um, this is a person who gives medical advice. This person is allowed to, to give medical advice. They have degrees. They have a number of degrees um, from very, very prestigious universities. Many degrees. This person is not a doctor, but they work in the medical profession. And they are very respected and very known by me. And unfortunately, over the last handful of years, this person has become a very woke person. Believing in things like rampant white privilege, and global warming, you know, high taxes out the wazoo. One of the things that this person has bought into is oogly boogly. And because this person has seen people die, in our fictional universe of Oogly Boogly. This person has begun to believe that there is a one-size-fits-all responsibility for all people. So I mention this because another person in my life has Crohn's disease, a friend. Um, they were asking about whether or not they should get the Oogly Boogly medicine or not. And... In our fictional universe, I contacted a number of people, including this friend. And this friend said that the Oogly Boogly Medici was perfectly safe for everyone. So the Crohn's friend gets this procedure done, and immediately there are heart issues. Thankfully, not lasting for life, but heart issues. Then they began to experience screaming headaches followed by auras, which uh, is common with certain kinds of migraines. The same thing happened to the person to whom my friend is romantically involved with when he got the oogly boogly medici. From there, the Crohn's patient developed psoriasis. Now, a lot of us get this, but it's a sign of, it can be caused by stress, but ultimately what it is, regardless of the cause, is your body producing too much skin, which is caused by your immune system going into a hyper-response mode. This person ended up being put on steroids, which also can turn your body into, well, we all know what steroids do. Um, they've now realized that the heart issue, the psoriasis, a massive dietary issues, suddenly Shazam Sparky, guess what they realized? That the immune response didn't shut off that was triggered by the oogly boogly medicine. 
Now, a Crohn's flare-up can, or this person may, may or may not even have, why well, they have Crohn's now, but originally the Cleveland Clinic and all of their genius treated this person incorrectly. They had a pancreatic disorder and would not have had to have suffered most of what they went through in their life if this had been known. But I digress. The Cleveland Clinic is not really all it's cracked up to be. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. I'm not saying it's not a good hospital. That's like saying that um, Stevie Ray Vaughan wasn't a good guitarist. Guess what? Stevie Ray Vaughan was overrated. He did everything in three chords. Um, I'm way off topic here. Look. So anyway, she gets the oogly, bo oogly boogly medici from the brilliant people at the Cleveland Clinic. And her doctor said that it's possible that the messenger... That's what mRNA stands for in the oogly boogly medici in our fictional universe. If that messenger doesn't die, then it can trigger an immune response. But even if it, I mean, it can keep triggering an immune response, I can say. But even if it does, there is a chance that it can trigger a flare-up in those who have immune disorders, of which Crohn's disease is, uh, is or is affected by, they don't know. But they do know that Crohn's disease and uh, hyperimmune activity is tied together. So I'm going to tie this up quickly. This is what's terrifying. Terrifying. Share this with people. It's why I'm talking about oogly boogly, because it can't get banned. We're not talking about a real virus. We're talking about the oogly boogly virus. I mentioned this, and I said to... The person in the medical field who I just told you about, person A, we're called Crohn's disease person, person B. Person A, I said, you recommended this. And if person B loses any more of their intestines, they will never be allowed to eat food again. They'll be stuck on a tree five hours a day. Play that again. Listen to it. This person will get their guts cut out. And if they lose any more of their intestines, they may never allow, be allowed to eat solid food again. Person A, the medical expert, said, Do you know how disrespectful it is for you to question vaccines? And I'm like, well, the oogly boogly medici has clearly caused this. Well, it's for the greater good. Don't you understand? It prevents oogly boogly from morphing, from changing. It, it stops it, like we, in theory, did with polio. Okay, but the early polio vaccines, if, if one or two people got sick, they stopped it. A handful of people died, they stopped it. They have it with this. Person A said in not so many words that it doesn't matter if a few things happen. Maybe somebody will end up on a food tree when otherwise their intestines would have been fine. But it's better for all of us. Isn't that what China said when they were cutting babies out of wombs? That because China couldn't afford to feed all the people that were there, that it was better for the whole to cut the children out of the few? What are we doing, friend? Share this video. And remember, it can't be banned. It's about oogly boogly. Remember?